any clashes over who has a plan B or who doesn't have a plan A. Um, there's also actually a wide political consensus that what our economy badly needs to get it back on track is growth. Um, the government's determined that it should be sustainable growth, and uh, this message was reinforced by the Prime Minister uh, this week, uh, today at PMQs, but earlier this week when he said it was absolutely vital that we boost the number of apprenticeships to create a new generation of skilled workers equipped for successful and long-term fulfilling careers. At the time the economy was growing in the last decade or so, millions of jobs were created in this country, and yet the level of youth and employment in our country remains stubbornly high. Um, many of those jobs went to highly motivated overseas workers, uh, and many of our young people did not have the right basic skills or the best way to access the workplace at that time to take advantage of those opportunities, even though they're very keen to make something of their life. I know that that's something that the training providers represented here today, the employers, South Thames, are all committed to helping local young people make the most of the opportunities available to them. To that end, the government has said it will create more apprenticeships than modern Britain has ever seen. Critically, um, obviously a very difficult financial backdrop, very difficult spending decisions being taken at the moment, but it has actually increased the financial commitment to apprenticeships. In the first month, the coalition government announced an extra £150 million to fund 50,000 new apprenticeships. The number of adult apprenticeships is being expanded by up to 75,000 uh, by the end of this parliament, which means that more than 200,000 people start an apprenticeship each year. And this represents an increase